the sun rises over the hills. With light, nature comes alive. They flock from east and west, migrating to their weekend Mecca. The journey, filled with preparation, leads them. This is no small journey. It takes confidence to even attempt it. This is going to be a big challenge, new road, very changing stages. Looking forward to getting going now. Nomburg Ring is one of a kind. It has every corner you can imagine. It's like a roller coaster for a race car. This moment can never last. The experience, fleeting. When I was a small boy, I used to sit on the couch and see Colin McRae driving Subaru. And now I'm here. The journey to come next will be filled with adversity and difficult challenges. You'd expect nothing less on race day. The stages are absolutely awesome. You can see why they used to run a world championship event here. This is the most dangerous race track in the world. Don't gamble with it. This is Launch Control. It's 8.45 a.m. in Shelton, Washington. Teams and fans mingle on Main Street for the Olympus Rally, the traditional park expose. We're looking forward to getting onto some, some fresh stages. You know, this is a, a rally that we haven't done for a long time, and all of the stages here, bar one, are, are new stages for us as well. This is the moment before the silence is broken and the car has come to life. Two days, 16 stages. 127 miles of competitive stages will be tallied to determine a winner. On the other side of the world in Germany, fans have flocked to one of the most demanding races on the planet. The 24 hours of Nürburgring. Uh, we prepared as, as good as possible. I think we have a good car for the, for the condition, for the track. So hopefully uh, we can keep the lead or at least a good rhythm. Subaru Technica International is on pole. Teams wait anxiously for the 24-hour race to begin. In either sport, it's about being the fastest over time. Enduring the challenge and coming out the other side less scathed than your opponents. 130 miles on such rough, tough roads. Um, it's not always just a sprint. You have to look after the car, look after the tires, which is kind of the same thing as what the guys at the Nürburgring 24 hours are going to be doing. So hopefully we can both get the same result and bring the car uh, back at the top of the podium. The Nordschleife track is filled with character. Some sections fast and flowing. Others simply vicious. Before you can be fast on this track, you must respect it. The stages in Washington demand that same respect. The forestry roads are fast, but filled with tire shredding rocks and unpredictable changes. David Higgins and Craig Drew of Subaru Rally Team USA have come out blazing. This event has been off the national calendar for two years, so these roads are either new or a distant memory for many. The team is hoping to capitalize on their ability to create detailed and accurate pace notes to take an early lead in case the roads throw some surprises. Subaru Technica International is also hoping to build that same buffer. They have competed at this event for many years and see this as the ideal proving ground for the STI's capabilities. The Subaru WRX with its all-wheel drive is a, a very big benefit around uh, this track. Um, and especially with changing weather conditions, a little bit of uh, uh, damp spots at the track, it gives you a lot more confidence to keep on you know, pushing and to drive the car on the limit. 
In 2014, an overnight lead was curtailed by a late night collision with a slower car. This year, nothing short of a win will satisfy the team. But you can never predict the unpredictable. Stage two, and Higgins and Drew are on pace for their second stage win. A sharp rock takes that away. Short left five plus. One end right short left five plus. Yeah, we have. Right six, 350. Right six, 350, two miles. Too far into the stage to stop and change the flat. It's not worth changing it. Too far from the finish for it not to cost them. Plus, Titan's bad. They lose time to the rest of the field, but luckily, not their lead. Higgins and Drew arrive at service with some battered body panels and a shredded piece of rubber that was once a tire. Adversity is part of the game. Making the best of a bad situation is often the difference between a winner and a champion. Yeah, I mean, any rally is kind of like a marathon, not a sprint, but it's, it's even more true for uh, for Olympus this year. Such a long event. We've only done the first three stages out of 14. Um, so, you know, losing a bit of time with a puncture, whilst it's annoying at the time, it's not the end of the world. We've got enough experience to realize that. Regroup, go again, and just try and regain some of the time back. Stage rally is a unique form of endurance racing. Two full days of racing, where drivers have to turn on and off the intensity. Alternating between race mode and relaxation takes a toll, sending drivers on a roller coaster adrenaline ride. The 24 hours of Nürburgring never turns off. Now it's running perfect. I'm looking forward to come in the car. The car never stops racing, except for a few moments in the pits for fuel and tires. Drivers endure extended shifts behind the wheel, lap after lap at high speed. The challenge is different than rally. Drivers finish their stint and then can be off for hours. It was a nice stint. The car is very uh, consistent, quick leg time, and uh, it's easy to drive. They follow the race from the pits and do their best to be rested for their next time behind the wheel. On the fast roads of the Olympic Peninsula, Higgins and Drew have put the flat tire behind them. They top the timesheet for the rest of the day and hold a strong lead overnight. Okay. What well a mate. Good job today, mate. Good first day, well done. Four hours into their 24-hour challenge, the Subaru Technica International team already have a one-lap lead in their class. As the clock marches forward, so does the party in the woods. Beams of light shine through the woods to reveal the most hardened of motorsports fans. You need so much energy to keep it already on the road and to drive fast but there's so much distractions with fireworks, barbecue smoke, uh, lights, everything, that uh, it's, uh, it's very eventful, but it's, uh, it's, it's one of a kind. When I was running the night session, I felt the smell of barbecue when I was running. I felt the smell of smoke and smoke. That's why I felt the smell of smoke in Japan, so I felt the smell of smoke. I had a big moment, I uh, uh, slide over some oil and then a few hundred meters there were two or three GT3 cars completely smashed. So uh, I was, uh, it was a lucky escape, I think the all-wheel drive uh, saved me there. Into the early hours of the morning, Subaru completes its 50th lap, still one better than their closest rivals. But the race isn't even at the halfway point yet. As the sun rises in Washington, Subaru's mission is to conquer the four stages and bring home their fourth victory of the season. Three, 
two, one, go. Right into left four minus, long, long. And short right four minus in. Then late left three long. Opens left over 80. Right three, open back minus long. Into two plus in. Then left four and short right six. 60. Daybreak in Germany reveals the STI still leading. They're now the fastest two-liter turbo-powered vehicle in the race and are outpacing many higher-class competitors. Higgins and Drew are also at the head of the field. Their lead is now over three minutes. Right six in, right over 100. Short, left four minus. Four but as they climb the steep Cougar Mountain stage, their car is in distress. They are down on power and fighting just to make it back to service. Their cushion of time is quickly slipping away. At service, the mission is to diagnose the problem. We're trying to find a, a, either a major boost leak or a problem with the turbo. They lost boost going up the mountain off the start line and uh, basically lost completely all power. Well, he's had a little boost problem, so we're going to change the turbo. Nothing's ever given in rally, is it? Nope. Sometimes people think, oh, why do you keep pushing on when you've got a big lead? Because these things can, can happen, isn't it? Tell me when you're ready, okay? Give me like 30 seconds notice. At the moment, we've changed the turbocharger and I've checked the one that came off and there's nothing obvious. So now we're changing the, uh, the next section, the wastegate, hoping that the wastegate is the problem. So. It might have blown the... Uh, the Sounds feasible, I was thinking that. When they can't find them, they have these make-believe names for parts. Turbo widget? Yeah, the whoozy whizzy what's it thing, mate. The removed wastegate reveals a clear and obvious answer. That's it, that's your fault. The head of the valve should be attached to the shaft. So there's nothing sealing the exhaust gas getting out so the turbo speed wouldn't build. No boost. So, onwards and upwards. The team has lost their comfortable lead, but they are still in the race. In Germany, Subaru Technica International continues their dominance. In and out of the pits, their STI and drivers continue to perform with consistent precision. Bit by bit, the competition is fading away and their lead increases to over eight laps. There is no question this is the performance they set out to achieve. They are on pace to break their previous lap record. They just need to get to the end of the 24th hour. With stage miles dwindling, Subaru Rally Team USA is back at full power. The flat tire and mechanical failure could have left them on the sidelines, but the team's combined effort has allowed them to absorb those losses. 48 hours of stage rallying or 24 hours of continuous circuit racing, it invariably comes down to the final mile. Subaru Rally Team USA secures its fourth win of the season. Yeah, great. This is instantly uh, catapulted to my number one favorite rally in America. The stages are absolutely awesome. You know, I'd say if you want to test your package and make sure you know that the car's going to work, this is like the one ride that can do it all. Subaru Technica International secures their best ever result in the 24 hours of Nürburgring. Uh, winning with uh, such a great team like STI Japan, for me it's, uh, um, yeah, it's unbelievable. 
we built a car which was faster, stronger. It was just a fantastic year. Really. Yeah, we're happy that we win the race, and it's amazing. So, this is really not a race. I think the team, the driver, was really a miss. But that's the result of the race. It's a really good day to end the week and end the weekend. The Subaru Motorsports family is tighter than ever. Both teams took the top of the podium. We were thinking and cheering for each other. It's an incredible feeling to know uh, the effort that's been put into not win one but two races this weekend on opposite sides of the world. Yeah, it's been a perfect weekend for our technical partners and SGI as well. And, you know, we get the rally win here and they've also won the Nerva Ring as well, which shows that this 2015 car works on all surfaces, racing and rally. For one team, it is mission accomplished. For the other, it's mission well underway. So David let you have that? Yeah. Where are you going to put it? Um, in my room. Nice. Because I have lots of his autographs and he, I, I really like him because he's like my favorite um, race car driver. Awesome. Thanks, buddy.